Hey guys, so uh, today I wanted to go ahead and post another video um, and uh, teach you guys how to re remove the um, concrete um, and all the extra crap that is uh, hard like concrete and dries like concrete um, from basement floors when you are preparing to install um, laminate flooring or any kind of flooring at that. Um, so uh, I have a, a special tool picked out that um, I like to use every time. Uh, the reason I use it is because it uh, gets the job done um, at a very efficient rate and it's uh, easy to use. I mean, it doesn't take a whole lot of energy um, and most importantly, it doesn't cost a whole lot of money. Um, if anybody is a contractor out there or construction worker or a business owner like myself, then, um, you know, and you work in the construction industry, then, um, you know, generally you own a... Uh, 20 or more gallon um, air compressor because there's a number of tools that uh, are very useful that require you to have an air compressor. Um, so uh, as long as you have the air compressor already, then the tool itself is only um, what, I think it cost me $15 for the chisels and it cost me uh, $30 for the tool. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and spoil the, uh, spoil the surprise, um, but here it is. Uh, this is the tool. It is a Husky um, medium stroke air hammer. Um, I, I get this from Home Depot. Um, it's real easy to uh, assemble. Um, it's real easy to use. Um, and it lasts a long time. So, um, yeah, great tool. I'm gonna show you guys how to use it today. Um, I'm gonna leave a link inside of my, uh, inside of my description, um, so that way you guys can go online and find the right tool and purchase it if you want to through my link. Um, but uh, yeah, so if you guys are you know, trying to save money or, you know, trying to find a good tool or a good way to accomplish this type of work um, at an affordable rate or at an affordable price, you know, um, then this is definitely the way to go. Um, I mean, I sit here for hours and hours at a time sometimes, you know, demoing concrete and whatnot because, uh, not because it's a, it, it's a slow tool or anything it's just that uh, you know big jobs uh and require a lot of work so anyways um like i said this is the tool that makes it real easy uh it's real affordable and so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys now um how it works and what it looks like when i'm using it um and then uh yeah i'm gonna um yeah Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you guys what this uh, air hammer looks like when it's in action. Um, I have a pretty uh, large piece of concrete right here that's been in there for probably ages now uh, with the house. And uh, it's about probably an inch above the rest of the grade of concrete and I need to take that out so that way I can um, install the rest of my laminate uh, flooring. Um, but anyhow, most importantly, number one thing that you need to always remember um, and always try to practice is wearing your PPE, your protective uh, uh, equipment. Um, when you're working with a tool like this, you want to make sure that you have gloves on. Um, they'll protect your hands. You definitely want to make sure that you have earplugs because those air compressors are loud as hell. And also this thing can get pretty loud too, so uh, earplugs will or earmuffs will uh, protect your ears. And then um, really, really importantly, mostly importantly, is your safety glasses. Don't forget your safety glasses, guys, because when you're using this thing, rocks and chips and everything goes flying. And it's just a matter of time before you get nailed in the eye and you're gonna wish you had your, your, your safety glasses on. Um, Cause trust me, it hurts. Um, but here we go. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a quick, uh, quick example 
or tour or whatever you want to call it of the medium air hammer by Husky. Um, I've got it hooked up to a 20 gallon uh, air compressor so that gives me plenty of air. Um, and here we go guys, I'm going to show you guys how easy this is. So if you guys can see right here, you know, I've only pressed, you know, the trigger just pressed and released it, you know, three times now. And as you can see, I just easy as butter went right into that concrete and, and took it right down to grade. But here we go. I'm going to show you guys. See that? Bam. That easy. Look at that. seconds I took that whole piece of uh, concrete out. And that took like hardly any effort at all. So uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to leave a link in the description so you guys can go online and order that if you need to. Um, you guys have a great day. Uh, like my video, subscribe, and share it with your friends and family or uh, anybody that you think that uh, this could be useful for. Have a great day. Okay, guys, now that we have got our um, I guess peaks in the concrete all chiseled down with the chisel the air hammer I mean. As you can see, we have some spots in the grade that are now dropped below grade. And so that poses a problem. Also, so what we need to do here is I got a bag of self-leveling um, quickrete um, basement floor resurfacer. Um, you can buy it for about 20 bucks at Home Depot. I'll leave it in the uh, copy of the link so you guys can just click and go buy it if that's what you need. Um, but uh, yeah, so anyways, I'm going to show you guys how I um, put this stuff in so that way everything is graded and level and surfaced and ready to go for the laminate to be installed. Um, so here you guys go.
So right here I'm demonstrating to you guys how to install laminate veneer plank. Um, right here I showed you the concrete that I had to fill in with the self leveler uh, quick re and here's the, the laminate that I've already installed in this room. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and give you show you guys how I install it it's pretty easy it just snaps it fits right into place and then snaps into place um, so let me get the camera positioned right and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys right now how to snap the laminate together to watch the rest of the video if you want to see more examples.